So today we get to build review uh, Boogeyman Moe's. So this is actually my first Moe's build review. So this will be quite fun. We're using four Boogeymen and you can see they're all shock damage. It has to do with a skill uh, in the skill tree later, uh, which is actually a little bit bugged, but we're just gonna ignore that. Anyways, let's get into the build review. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video for more Borderlands 3 videos. Uh, we do this five times a week and uh, let's get into it. So I guess the main interaction that Rep told me about with this build is the green monster class mod. Now, for those of you that didn't know, uh, this class mod also gives you a secret splash bonus. Uh, it gives you splash to your grenades and your iron bear. It doesn't give you splash on your weapons, which is weird. But what it does do is it gives the the boogeyman bonus splash damage as well. So this actually gives you up to 100% bonus splash damage. We are comboing this with the iron cub and then the boogeyman skulls. So this is a really cool build that actually utilizes the green monster class mod. And then uh, with the boogeyman special effect, we never have to start or we never have to stop firing our weapons at all. So that's the main interaction of this build. And uh, besides that, we just, you know, have a decent skill tree loadout and then decent gear to go with it. We're using the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge. We're using a Cloning Maddening Tracker. And then we're using an Old God Shield. Now, you guys might no notice that all of our weapons and our shield are shock damage. And this is actually for this skill right here, Harmonious Havoc. Uh, this gives Moe's increased gun damage for each weapon, shield, and grenade that matches the element of her gun. Now, there's a small issue with this uh, skill is that it's bugged right now, but that's not gonna stop us from making Making this build because they're gonna fix this skill in a patch you know you don't have to worry about that probably the next patch if I had to guess but obviously we don't really know until it comes out and uh, yeah besides that we have boogeyman with all different anointments you can really use whatever next to mag anointment that you want we also have a consecutive hits boogeyman man this is probably the main one we'll be using just because it's a really strong anointment for this weapon and we're constantly gonna be firing and checking grenades like that we're always gonna have consecutive hits active as well you rad for fight for your life as B white pointed out in the chat we're not wearing a deathless but it's just in our inventory just for fun and then yeah you can pretty much use uh whatever setup you want keep in mind uh you're gonna be getting a lot of corrosive damage from your green monster but if you want to use all fire boogeyman go for it all rad go for it and then also yeah like we just mentioned you can get a front loader with shock resistance uh and then you can use your u red boogeyman but i prefer to have health gate so we're gonna be using an old god and we're gonna be using cloning maddening trackers with uh blue tree to keep ourselves alive with vampire and as you can see in our blue tree we have a pretty standard setup Skag Den, Torque Cross Promotion, all the way down to Short Fuse. This is a really standard uh, Moe's setup. Five in Armored Infantry, five in Drowning in Brass, one in uh, EM. Uh, and then in Green Tree, we got 10 out of five Scorching RPMs. We want all of the fire rate, all the critical hit damage. Down. A little bit of iron bear damage, uh, redistribution to keep up with our ammo regen. And yeah, you can pretty much fire the boogeyman forever. And that is pretty much the build. Let's go ahead and run it through a Malawan and a Guardian, and then tell you guys my thoughts on this build at the end of it. So this build's pretty simple. You start firing, and then you never stop firing. Occasionally, you will go into fight for your life. It happens, okay, but you get right back up. And uh, yeah, just never stop firing your weapon. We're gonna get those uh, those boogeymen to trigger. Luckily, we got short fuse and skag then to take out the storm chuckers. We got our corrosive damage, and we go off to the races. Off to the races. Short cross promotion taking us out. Just keep firing and always spawn Iron Cub. Yeah, and when we go on cooldown, Big Surplus is gonna give us a buttload of damage too. Like, yeah, we're on cooldown right now. We get ridiculous big surplus damage. Dude, I wanna change I wanna turn down the game volume a little bit. Alright, we went ahead and turned down the game volume a little bit for you, you people watching on YouTube. Because otherwise this is all you're gonna hear the entire video. It's all you're gonna hear the entire video. Holy crap. Oh man, we blow ourselves up at the last second there. Where's that Kraken? Kraken should be dead really quick, I feel like. Oh. Alright, build's working. The build's working, don't worry, chat. I feel like we just get tons of, uh... How does Green Monster work with Short Fuse rep? Does Green Monster add corrosive damage to, like, Short Fuse as well? And your grenades. I'm pretty sure it does, doesn't it? So it actually adds a lot of damage to Short Fuse. And then he, uh, he found out about Wotan. All right, we got Baby Bear. We got Baby Bear on our side. Oh, man. oh, that's not good. Baby Bear, get us out of fight for your life. 
Alright, we're just gonna keep firing. We're just gonna stack up our green monster. Enemies? Alright, no worries. Just no worries, guys. No worries. Easy. We just needed someone to spawn. Is it a Moe's build if you don't blow yourself up all the time? Would it even be a real Moe's build? Ah! Heal me! Oh, we died to the dot there. Thank God for too angry to die. Okay. Otherwise, I would actually be angry. I feel like Flare with so much MOD would be really fun to play with. I actually want to play with a Moe's Flare build uh, at some point. Because I feel like just getting ridiculous MOD like has got to be really cool. Baby Bird dies very quickly with Vanquisher pods. I think that's the point, though, so we can just trigger a big surplus. And then we just spawn Baby Bear every chance we get. Alright, where's our Boogeyman skulls? We should have Boogeyman skulls by now, right? Oh, there's Baby Bear. Spawn! Oh, it's already spawned, I guess. <laughs> this build is stupid. This build's actually dumb. <laughs> and I mean, in a medium way, not in a bad way for sure, but I don't know if it's necessarily in a good way. This build is stupid though. This is just, this is just like every Moe's build, right? Just tape down your right trigger and uh, your grenade button. Heal me! Alright, we gotta take down the one on the right before she starts doing this lame attack. All right, there we go. There's some Valkyries. Sometimes if you hit crits. Wait, I feel like I want CMT here. I feel like I definitely want CMT here. Okay, cool. Too bad Wotan doesn't have a crit spot. That's a, that's one downside of the green monster. Um, Wotan doesn't have a crit spot. Better luck next life. This will do a little bit better in Guardian Takedown where I can hit the Guardian crits. Oh, Time shit. For a scrap. Get in there! Cool. Nice. Let's get some boogeymen to spawn. Do boogeymen? How often do boogeymen spawn? Do they have good spawn rates? Yo, thank you for the follows. Oh, I thought we got him out of that phase already. Let's take out these stingers. <laughs> there we go. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. In the humble words of our of our of our boy Moxer. That's a lot of damage. Alright. This build is really dumb, rep. This build is really dumb. I, I haven't decided if it's in a good way yet. Alright, I don't know why I reloaded on purpose there. Yikes, dude, that fire dot almost killed me. Well it did. Cool. Right, let's do the top half first. Is the top half? There you are. I can't see him! He's hiding. Oh my god, that was an insta-kill. Okay, that was pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. Let's do this. Come and get it! Let's go! Hit the crit! We gotta aim for the crits. Or, you know what? Let's just chuck and shoot. Let's just mindlessly chuck and shoot. You do not have to aim for crits. Yeah, but this build definitely does way more damage when you hit crit spots. Fresh targets over here. Like, obviously more damage. Like, things melt when you crit, and then it just does really good damage when you don't crit.
Hit the sword, hit the sword, hit the sword. It does much better damage when you crit. It's because we have 10 out of 5 freaking like... Moza has a decent amount of uh, crit damage in her skill tree. Does she have more crit than Flack? How much how much crit does Flack have in this tree? Because we get what? I guess it's only 25% for 5 out of 5, right? We only have 50% because we have a 10 out of 5 class mod. That was a close one. Alright, where are you landing? Uh, she has more, I think, but only for splash damage. Next. You guys want to know a fun fact? Short Fuse does not scale with crits. Short Fuse actually- or I'm sorry, uh, Skagden. Skagden does not scale with crit damage. So what I mean by that is if you score a crit with, uh, with a bullet, you get the times two crit modifier. Skagden calculates as if you just didn't crit at all. So Skagden just doesn't crit. Big Surplus works with crits? Does it really? That's actually pretty funny. They actually power corrupt Skagden with Big Surplus then. It does? Wow. They successfully power corrupt Skagden. That's honestly iconic. Honestly, I don't play Borderlands for anything else than power creeping Skagden. Big Surplus allows Face Puncher to crit. Wow. Uh, they're far more powerful together. I mean, of course. All right, we gotta rebuild up our bonus. We gotta get our bonuses. So uh, my splash bonuses go away every time I re-pull the trigger. That's a little suckish, but it's not that bad. Why did I think White Elephant's triggered on crit? Why did I just think that in my head real quick? What I was actually thinking of was that White Elephants can make a face puncher crit as well. Well, the White Elephant themselves will crit. Alright, cool. Oops. I threw that hex right into my own face. So, I feel like we'll see a lot better damage on Scourge, because Scourge has a much more stable crit spot that we can just, like, always hit. Cool. Where'd you just come from? Uh, we have to do this quickly. What? Like, I want to stop firing because I just want them to keep their distance. Like if I kill a lot of guardians, they end up com they end up all coming in here. So I kind of just want to stop firing and let them all waste their time. God, I ah, oh, come on, we need to kill these guardians in here. I don't want to swap back and forth between these two crystals. Swapping back and forth between these two crystals, like you might as well just start over. It's so sad. Oh my god, and they all rush at the same exact time. Yes! I'm honestly gonna aim for the flying ones first. Because they are 10 times more annoying than any other guardian in this entire takedown. The flyers. Try to keep up. And then they do this attack. I hate that attack so much. That attack always kills me no matter what character I'm playing, I swear. Especially on Flak, that attack's so brutal. Because it just auto locks on. Even if you are in fadeaway, even if you freeze them. It just auto locks on and kills you every time. We're almost done with this crystal phase. I cannot see his face.
Here go. we go. Where's the boogeyman skulls? How much damage do boogeyman skulls do? And is it fixed damage or is it like based on your last shot that killed the enemy or what? Right. Uh, I haven't looked at how much damage the hex is doing when using it. I'm pretty sure it does. Oh, we did it. That was clean. We start firing, baby bear. Wait. I can actually hit Scourge in the crit spot, which is nice. Oh, that's scary. Oh, damage isn't bad. Damage isn't bad. All right, big surplus any moment now. Big surplus, baby bear. Nuke yourself. You can see we take random chunks out. All right, now we got big surplus damage. All right, not bad. All right, come here, Scourge, you derp. I know, we're gonna sneak a reload in. I'm feeling it. Wait, we're hitting those crits. Nice, come on, a little more. Okay, not bad. Cool. Now we get to tag those crits while he's down. Oh, he got back up. Should have packed more grenades. Oh, we're out of grenades, that's not good. Oh, well, there we go. Smack! I think I can get through there right. now. Baby bear, let's go! Alright, baby bear, just die. Just die, baby bear. Then I can get my next two magazine anointment. Uh, still better than Loader Pet AI. Yeah, maybe Guardian AI is better than Loader Pet AI. Dude, I don't know what song this is, but it's kind of dope. Damn it, you killed my Iron Cub. I can't believe you activated my my action skill and next to magazine anointment. Oh look, dead meat. I feel like it's when short fuse procs off of the crits. Like when short fuse procs off of those crits, that's when we, we get those big jumps. See how we get those random jumps in damage? Oh yeah. That's like short fuse chaining. <laughs> you mean your trap card? Yeah, I know, Rep, that's so dumb. Like, who cares? I don't know. I don't see the big deal in skips. I guess, I guess their issue was we found the skips like week one Guardian Takedown was out. And I get if you don't want, you know, kids on the internet skipping your game content that you spent a lot of time making. But I don't know, leave the skips in. Like, people like doing skips in games. It's fun. Unclonable do nothing. Uh, you can do the Daka skip. Yeah, I know, but I want to do it on Zane. I guess Zane and Moe's were the only two characters that could do the skip anyway. It's funny how they haven't patched the Moe's skip. Turns out they love Moe's mains. And then the other thing is they just completely punish the other two characters by locking their controls. This one's really good. I forget which one this is. Isn't this a Mario song? I could be wrong. I forget. And now we never stop firing this boogeyman. I use front mouse button as melee, back mouse button as crouch. I actually need to get a mouse with uh, more binds on it. Oh. Once we get to a shield phase, he melts. Alright, cool. That should get that out of the way. We gotta keep firing our guns, though. Oops. Uh, your mouses have more than three buttons. I need a better mouse. I have like a basic wireless mouse I bought from friggin' Best Buy or Staples or some shit. Yo, good night, Matt. Have a good night, dude. It was nice seeing you again. It's always a pleasure, Matt. It's always a pleasure having you, dude. Well, I 
guess we're gonna do the cheese strat. The cheese strat of just shooting the diadems that, you know, you can't, like, kind of just ignore. I don't know. Oh, we got RuneScape music on now, chat. We got our we got our favorite RuneScape songs coming on. You cannot contain what is loose. Thickler and mouse and keyboard, no. I know. There's a reason I use controller, actually. Uh, my hand is like messed up. I have a hand disability, kind of. I don't like calling it a disability, but my hand's basically messed up. Alrighty guys, uh, that was our runs of the build. Let's talk about our thoughts on what I thought about it. Uh, this build is pretty fun. It's pretty stupid uh, in a good way and a bad way. It's not the best build of all time. You know, we sh probably should be wearing a flare class mod because uh, I'm pretty sure we just get more damage out of the flare. But using 10 out of 5 scorching RPMs and being able to sustain all that fire rate is what uh, Reptilian Rain loves doing. And that's why he made this build the way it is and uh, why he sent it in. Uh, no changes for this build, honestly. Besides, like I said, if you actually want to optimize for this build, you probably do want to wear like a Flare Class mod. Uh, or even a Minesweeper would be very, very strong because um, the Boogeyman is so fast firing. But um, yeah, this is a really fun build. It's really dumb to play. And uh, the other thing I got to say is turn down your freaking game volume. Because the sound of the boogeyman is deafening. And um, yeah, so that is pretty much it for today's build review. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.